Okay, I uh, almost forgot. Um, a blade. Ha! <laughs> Can't have much of a hidden blade without a blade, I guess. So let's see. The, the length of my slider, the main part, is... Hey, look at that! It's like one foot. Exactly. Um, huh. One foot. That's what that says, I promise. So I'm going to cut that, this piece, pretend it's, it's extended. Here's the front. It's so much shinier than my old one. I'm going to cut it off the same length. So right there, right before that first opening thing. Okay, uh, let's see if I can get you in position to watch me do that. Okay. So that was a nice clean cut there, and uh, so we cut off that hunk that we didn't need. Bleep. Throw that away. So we can slide this little bad boy off. Oh, be very careful. So what you have here now, though, is a really rough. If you're uh, using the cutoff disc like mine you'll have this really rough kind of edge here. I'm going to go take that off with the bench grinder. Alright, so now what we have is a real nice nice and flat, flush, shiny thing. Okay, so now we're left with this little piece. I got it in the vice, kind of cheated. Um, didn't do anything, I promise. Uh, this tab is on the back still. We're left over. So we're just going to cut that thing off. When you're tightening that thing in the vice, this thing in the vice, be careful not to bend these edges. Um, any kind of little tiny bend in them will cause this thing to just be really funky and not work out for you. Um, oh, while well, I got you here, this little black piece, get rid of it. We're going to build our own locking mechanism. Also, when you, you see this little guy, um, we're going to want to cut this. I'll show you what it want to look like here. Hold on. So you see what we did there? We just made it a little... I took it a, a good little chunk out of that. So there's room for something that we'll make later. But I want to show you now, if you have an extra drawer slide, like if you're making a bunch of these, line them up like that and just push that guy into there and then set them off to the side. Just that way they all stay on track and you can just push them all back on later. Um, that's what I do. Or you can you can empty it out into a bowl and they'll all psh, be in a bowl. Set the bowl somewhere. Next, we want to get this bad boy. Remember him? We want to get this bad boy to a point where uh, it's usable. You want to make sure that you cut the right side too. It's got a little lip here. Um, we want that end. We want that end. We don't care for the other end. And like I said earlier, be careful when you're cutting or clamping these with a vice grip. I'm actually going to do a little twick here. Lay that in your vice grip. And just use that so that when you're working with like soft wood, in this case, really kind of 
things you don't want bent. Alright, here we go. Well, what you're left with is this nice little piece of metal. But there's like four places that the thing is hooked on here to, and we just want to drill through all four of them. Okay, so I'm going to take you to my drill press here. Alright, how's that? So now we're going to... Okay, cool, you can see. It's also smart to uh, hold on to your piece of metal really tight, or else you'll uh, it'll spin around and smack you in the knuckle and do all kinds of dangerous shit. Um, I didn't catch that. So <laughs> what happened is it popped right off, which is really groovy. And uh, nice and flat, flush. Woo! And that, yeah, popped right off. I'm kind of amazed and happy myself. So, so next we're going to build this little guy. We have our uh, square. Woo! Sorry, guys. Our square tubing. No. Hold still. We have our square tubing in the vise. We're going to cut it. <laughs> to get this shape out of this little guy, we're going to have to make some cuts. Like that. Boop. Like that. Here. And then on the other side. Zero. I'm going to take one, one of the sides off. See? Ooh. Extreme close up. Like that. Beep. Okay. And then next. Make a couple cuts like this. Okay, so what we got here now is this shiny little piece of metal. Ooh. It's all been buffed out and mm. nice and shiny. Cool, eh? I'm not Canadian. Um, I just like the way they talk. Uh, 